welcome back to my channel thank you for liking commenting subscribing and sharing my previous videos in today's video i did a q and a on instagram about urinary tract infections and sexually transmitted infections and the responses this is going to be really a really interesting video so let's jump into that first question do you know what a urinary tract infection is 30 percent said yes 70 percent said no so a urinary tract infection is simply an infection of the urinary tract. The urinary tract from the kidneys to bladder to your urethra, yeah, down the line, yeah. So in simple terms, that is it. Then, do you know what a sexually transmitted infection is? This is good because 100% of you say yes, which is quite encouraging. So it's just an infection transmitted through sexual contact. Then... Do you know the signs and symptoms of a UTI? So 63% said yes, no, 37%. I'm glad 63% of you know actually the signs of a UTI. So these are just some of the signs, though some of the signs of a UTI can mimic signs of gonorrhea and chlamydia. So it's important even if you experience those um, symptoms, make sure you go to the doctor for the tests. The first one is pain when urinating. So you'll feel a lot of pain when you're going to pee. And then pain at the abdominal area, and then the lower abdominal region, and then sometimes pain at the back. Then uh, increased urge to urinate. So you'll feel like going to the washroom frequently, and then when you go, very little or no urine comes out. But you'll feel the urge to go to and urinate. Then cloudy urine. So it will not be the normal color like this water. It will be sort of off white, which means that it will be milky or cloudy. Yeah, but it will not be as thick as the way like the white of milk is. Then you'll feel like fatigued and you'll have a fever. Then um, for ladies, we you know it's a UTI or an STI, based on the symptoms. So 67% said yes and 33% said no. So I ask this question because the anatomy of ladies is different from that of guys. Because you see for the ladies we have the back canal and we have the urethra, two different openings. So that's why I really ask this question because some of those symptoms we may experience might be of, an, of, an, of a sexually transmitted infection like gonorrhea and chlamydia. Someone will have like pain and that can mimic that of a UTI so it's really really important for you to go get checked when you present with these symptoms because also when you have a yeast infection or bacterial vaginosis you can present with some of these symptoms like itching and some pain then what are some of the home remedies of a UTI yeah. okay here I got very interesting questions Sorry, answers. So someone said you insert a garlic, like you tie a garlic on a thread, then you insert it in the bath canal, the way you insert a tampon. This is so weird because first of all, you are treating a urinary tract infection and not a, an infection of the bath canal. So um, this garlic, okay, I've, I did my research thereafter and I saw that garlic is good for bacterial vaginosis but the act of inserting a um, garlic in your bath canal really does it dissolve or what does it do please educate me on that so that i can also know because to me it came as a surprise and i had to do my research on that then someone said also you crush garlic and then you drink the water so i had said earlier it's not for a uti it's for a bacterial vaginosis so which means that this person, that's, that's why I said earlier that some of the symptoms can correlate. So you might be thinking you have a UTI, yet it's bacterial vaginosis. So it's really, really important for you to do tests to differentiate. Then cran cranberry juice, yeah, at least that I know. And then apple cider vinegar and natural yogurt. Though natural yogurt is also good for a yeast infection. Then how do you prevent a UTI? First of all, take a lot of water. Please hydrate. Even when you have a UTI, please make sure you take a lot of water so that you can flush the bacteria out. Then, 
you make sure you urinate before and after sexual contact this is also majorly for the guys because you see for the guys anatomy your sexual reproductive system is tied to your urinary system and like the ladies wear it's like different then you wipe yourself from to back this is especially for the ladies even if you have a small girl child make sure you advise them or make sure you advise the household to wipe them from front to back not back to front because back to front you're introducing bacteria from the anal cavity towards the birth canal and the urethra so this can give the baby an infection then avoid holding your urine make sure once you feel like going to urinate just rush to the washroom and pee don't hold urine because you're um, increasing your chances of getting a UTI then avoid douching I've seen like the internet these guys these days guys are um, advertising of so many products used for douching so many uh, bacterial soaps for washing the bath canal really this is not recommended because your system usually cleans itself up so there's no point of douching and washing all those whatever doing vaginal steaming really <laughs> these things don't work just wash yourself with only water that's it because it cleanses itself so there's no need of doing all that in order to please the men come on it's a bath canal it's supposed to smell like that but when it comes to some smells when it's fishy when it's a really weird order please that's not normal rush to the doctor for checking then uh, hygiene make sure you shower please <laughs> then take probiotics like natural yogurt they really help your system ladies yeah then avoid wearing wet panties or clothes like it's raining but please <laughs> make sure you air your panties make sure you air your inner clothes don't wear wet clothes you can and also you can iron them that helps a lot because if you wear wet clothes, you're making a, like you're providing a growth medium for this bacteria and the mold, the yeast. So you'll be affecting yourself in the long run. Then change your sanitary towel and your tampons. It's really, really important to change them frequently because if you don't, you can develop an infection called toxic shock syndrome and this kills. So make sure, yeah, it kills. So make sure you really change your pads and your tampons frequently then practice self sex make sure you wrap it up yeah so um on the garlic issue please i need education just educate me on how garlic works to prevent a uti because you insert it first of all you're inserting it in the bath canal and the uti is in the urethra so there's no correlation between the two so maybe for bacterial vaginosis but does this dissolve in there or what happens just tell me exactly what happens to that garlic and that thread i really really want to know so thank you so much for sharing out your views and if you want me to do frequent q and s please let me know so you can follow me on instagram so that because that's where i ask the q and s and facebook i'll leave my details below so thank you so much make sure you like comment subscribe and share bye